Atello is one of the really top pinnacles of the of the repertoire of the opera repertoire. Um, in a way, it, I suppose it's because it's a very fine dramatic composer at the absolute peak of his powers with um, a long lifetime of experience behind him of trying lots of different dramatic techniques, making things work, discovering what works in the theatre, what doesn't work in the theatre, uh, and ending up with something, I mean, a subject of incredible power, um, passion, jealousy, um, and also an amazingly sad, very um, almost sort of empty um, ending to the piece. So it's, it really is, it's, it's also a piece that involves the entire company and it's a big chorus opera as well as of course, you know, and, and some really very big personalities. <laughs> There, it's difficult to pick one moment out of this piece. I mean, the opening scene is a complete tour de force. It's a, it's, it's, it's a big chorus scene uh, which starts with a storm. I mean, the very first chord of Otello is a discord. Very unusual for an Italian opera to start in, in such a way. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a sort of chorus imploring God to sort of say, save this ship that, on which Otello is uh, travelling, to save it from the, from the storm. And uh, so that, you know, that's a big moment. There are, uh, the, I mean, the duet that follows that between Otello and Desdemona at the end of the first act is one of the most sublime duets in opera. The third act, the big ensemble, um, when Otello is, is abusing his wife in front of this enormous crowd of people and dignitaries, is shocking and, again, musically, is a very, very powerful scene. And, and his sort of um, decay uh, at the end of that um, scene. I mean, Otello sort of basically feels he's going mad. Um, and of course, the last act, which has got this fantastic The Willow song, which is quite a famous aria for Desdemona. Very, very beautiful. Some of the most beautiful writing that Verdi ever achieved um, is the, at the beginning of the, the last act, when Desdemona, Desdemona is in her bedroom and just prior to being murdered by her husband. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Tim's a fantastic storyteller, and obviously in a Shakespearean opera, that's a, a wonderful thing. And Verdi himself would have appreciated that. Um, he was always a composer who wanted to make the storyline and also the sort of personalities of his leading characters very, very strong and clear. And Tim's brilliant with that. He's also very good at um, handling the chorus and moving the chorus around. And he's come up with some very interesting solutions to difficult problems. I mean, sometimes you'll have a line that just one of the principal singers that is delivered traditionally in one particular way to a particular character and he's just gone back and thought well hang on a sec if it was delivered in a different way to another character but it still makes perfect sense within the text would this not be more interesting so he's always he's a director who likes to explore all the possibilities and won't just go down the obvious path which is i love because i find that more interesting more challenging and and also it means that we can work together on making the sound sort of illustrate that, that point. <laughs> 